Hey everyone, I'm Umid, the media lead on the business branch of Husky Robotics, and in this video I'll be showing you guys the basics of using our team's camera and how to upload photos to our Google Photos account. So as you can see here, we have the box with the camera and all of its accessories. Over here we have the camera itself, along with its spare batteries. Over here is the charger for those batteries. And this right here is a box filled with SD cards for the camera storage. Charging the batteries of the camera is actually pretty simple. The charger is powered by a micro USB cable and to charge the batteries, you simply just place them into the charger. And when there's a red light, it means the batteries are still charging. When there's a green light, it means that it's at full power. So there are a couple things you have to do before the camera is ready for use. The first thing you have to do is to insert a battery and you do this by opening the small compartment under the camera right here by flipping the switch. Then you insert a battery. Once you insert the battery, it's automatically locked into place. And then you flip the switch again to close the compartment. So once the battery is in place, the next thing you want to do is insert a memory card in the camera. And you do this by finding the side compartment right here, pulling on it to open it up. And then you insert the memory card with the side that has a sticker on it facing you. And then to close the compartment, you just simply push it back in and it locks into place. So when you're using the camera and you're walking around, you always want to make sure that you're wearing the strap just in case it falls out of your hands. But we'd have to worry about that right now since I'm just showing you the basic functions on this table. If you want to turn the camera on, you just simply flip this switch right over here. There are two ways you can zoom with the camera. One of them is by using this dial over here. Or you can also use this style closer to the lens. Now to focus the camera, you lightly press down on the silver button over here. And to lock in that focus, you press on this button on the side. When you're ready to take a picture with the camera, you want to zoom, focus, and then once you're ready, you just press all the way down on that silver button. Taking a video is also fairly simple. You just press this movie button up here. And press again whenever you're done. If you want to take a look at the picture or video that you just took, you press over here on the playback button. To go back, you press to the left on the control wheel right over here and if it's a video you press on the button in the center of the control wheel to play it to go back you just press the playback button again to delete the picture that you just took you press the playback button go to the picture you want to delete press this button over here to delete it and confirm your choice using the control wheel and the center button. After you're done taking pictures and videos with the camera, you're gonna to wanna to upload them to our Google Photos account. The first thing you have to do is when the camera is off, take out the SD card. Then you're gonna to wanna to put the SD card into a USB memory card reader. Once the SD card is inside of a reader, you want to plug the reader into a USB port on your computer. So once the SD card reader is plugged in, you should see it over here on your desktop. And you're going to want to go to Google Photos while signed into the admin account. You can ask pretty much any lead on the business branch of the team uh, to help you get signed into the admin account. But once you're actually ready to upload, you click, well, upload. Um, you choose computer. You want to find the reader. And typically, pictures are stored in the DCIM folder in 100MS DCF. 
and videos are stored in mp underscore root in the 100 amb01 folder. So let's just upload this video as an example. You can highlight whatever you want to upload. Press open. Just wait for it to upload. it's there. So as you can see, we have a lot of footage um, in our Google Photos account. So it's best that you make sure that when you're uploading pictures and videos, you organize them and put them in the right albums they belong in. Um, you can see that we have a lot of different albums for competitions, outreach events, or just for compiling footage. Um, by making sure you put everything in its correct album, you make it easier for everyone to find the footage they need, whether you need to present something at an outreach event, um, show something to another member on the team because it pertains to something that they're working on, or for compiling footage to use in a compilation we may upload to YouTube, like this Jamboree video 2020 album. Um, so yeah, as long as you make sure that you're organizing everything, uh, after it's uploaded, you're good to go. That's pretty much all I have for this video. Make sure you keep an eye out for future videos on best practices when taking pictures for the team, Photoshop, and video editing.